Hi, everybody, and welcome back for another five-minute meditation. And this one is entitled, No Struggling. And it's inspired by a video I saw of Adi Ashanti this morning, which I think I'll put down below in the comments. I recommend that you watch it. It's quite wonderful. And Adi Ashanti speaks about struggling. Why do we struggle? Struggling happens in the mind, primarily. The mind is struggling, efforting, suffering. Why do we struggle? Either we're afraid of what will happen, so we feel we need to strive and use a lot of effort to change things, make things better. Or maybe there are certain parts of ourselves we don't love, we don't accept, and therefore we struggle to try to change these things. But what would you be if you didn't struggle? Even now, what if you just said, no struggling? What if you just stopped? Stopped struggling just for this moment. Imagining that the mind is like a fist when it's suffering and struggling. <laughs> just relaxing the mind, feeling it really open, sending it love, telling the mind everything will be okay. And just allowing yourself to be here fully present, nowhere to go, nothing to do, no one to be, nothing to fix, nothing to change, no need to struggle. Resting as awareness, resting as beingness, Letting go and letting God. Trusting in the flow, in the unfolding and unfoldment of life. Allowing everything to be as it is. What would your experience of yourself your experience of life, of the world to be like if you simply relaxed and allowed yourself to stop struggling. The ego is afraid to stop struggling because the ego is a struggle. If the ego stops, it disappears. It dies. It doesn't want to die. It wants to survive. It wants to keep going. So it keeps struggling and struggling. Even if it's suffering, at least it's alive. And the mind is always trying to sell you unstruggling. It says, look, you're at point A. I will get you to point B. All you have to do is struggle and you will get there. But of course, us non-dualists, <laughs> and Vita tells us, there is no point B. All there is is point A. <laughs> so there's nowhere to go. There's really, literally, no need to struggle. There's no path to here and now. There's no path to oneness. Oneness is always and already the case. There's no path to the Parabrahman, even to heaven or nirvana. Whatever concept you have of a better here and now, it is here and now. Everything that you're seeking, you are. And if you continue to struggle, 
then you prevent the seeing of what you are because you can't see clearly if you're struggling. Transformation doesn't happen as a result of suffering. It happens as a result of awareness. When we are struggling, our consciousness is contracted. But when we relax in awareness and we open to the universal, that is when the transformation occurs. So throughout your day, it's a simple reminding, a simple noticing. If you feel that your mind is struggling, just let it relax. Tell it, no struggling. Stop struggling. Don't fight with it. That would be more struggling. <laughs> just simply remind it to let go and let God to rest as pure awareness, to rest as being. No struggling, no self. If the struggling ends, then the false pseudo-self ends. The conceptual, imagined self ends, and then what remains? Parabrahman the absolute, the pure being. So relax, let go, send love and compassion and mercy to the seeking mind, to the struggling mind, and watch how all states of mind dissolve in love, compassion, and mercy. And just breathe consciously and relax, and relax, and relax. Thank you, everybody. Namaste. Peace, peace, peace.